Alrighty, so now we're on our way to Paris. Uh, it took us an hour to get through customs. They scan your passport twice. Um, so now we're just waiting to see where we're gonna be boarding. Um, hopefully we uh, we catch some cool cars in, uh, in Paris. Um, a lot of, you know, a lot of exotics out here and uh, BMWs and Porsches. I didn't see that many modified cars like you know you and I are used to so we'll see um, but um, I'll try to get some cool footage of Paris and the stuff that we do so alrighty after an hour and a half delayed something must have happened with the previous train we're finally boarding alrighty guys our, our flight was delayed for about an hour and some change this is the room don't mind my sexiness without a shirt and the wife booked the place where I guess she thought we were gonna have a view, but she didn't manage to have this view. Obviously, the GoPro shows the tower a little bit, the Eiffel Tower a little bit farther than it should be. I will never get in one of those rides, especially those that are just like installed like in three hours. So, yeah. Today is Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Believe it or not, what time is it? 8.58 p.m. right now. 8.58 p.m. I didn't know that. So you guys are experiencing all these with me as well. Um, right off the bat, car-wise, I see a whole bunch of Mercedes-Benz. So hopefully we get to see some stents out, you know, Euros, and hopefully we catch some stuff. They have a festival going on because, uh, is it tomorrow, the Day of the Independence? Tomorrow's uh, France Independence Day, so. Ooh, 993 convertible 964 I should say my bad What's that? Emmanuel Macron? That's why? Someone important is rolling by through the city. That's all I know. I don't need to speak French to know that. A big boss, a big hitter is passing by. Cool little view. All right, guys, we made it. A lot of high ranking officials, I am to assume. Today is uh, French Independence Day, so they close down the streets and they're having people from various places come and tell them to assume that they are people of high standards, high rankings. People of high standards are accord you, <laughs> people of high rankings are officials, so everything's locked up, so yeah, extra careful today. Obviously, thanks to the wifey, we just saved about two hours of line. So she explained to me that um, since this is Independence Day, all museums are free. This is like the only day, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on it. This is the only day that is free. And so since it's free, obviously more people are gonna show up. As it is, the lines are really, really, really long to come to different museums. However, she printed out some tickets and she went and asked one of the ladies, like, hey, excuse me, like, where do we stand? And where is the, um, this is the same line for, you know, people that have tickets already. So nope, they fast forward us maybe like, honestly, we just saved like about two hours. The line was huge. So we're inside and yeah. So make sure you print your stuff out. Super, super important. So we're inside now. 
I find it amazing that out of all these paintings, like for instance, that one right there, um, I would think, I don't know, I'm not that type of an artist, but I would think that there's so much harder to do. Like this one right here, or those. And due to hype, or whatever you want to call it, that one is the one that grabs all the attention. There's a lot of you art nerds out there. Like to me, this is more, I guess, challenging to cre recreate or create. But apparently, my my wife, my mom, my wife was telling me that the reason why the Mona Lisa got so hyped up is because it was stolen at one point, and so made it more glam uh, glamorous. But to me, this is challenge, you know, a little bit more challenging to paint. But yeah, people's way. So Leonardo da Vinci painted it. La Joconde, I think is what it's called. Alrighty guys, we made it to another landmark. Pretty. Nice to see. It's pretty big, I gotta lie. That's what she said. <laughs> Alright, pretty tired from riding that little moped or whatever. Scooter. Scooter. She's gonna walk. I think she wants to walk under. I say she because I don't really care for it, but that's mainly the reason why we're here in the this part of the world. Um, only one car that I saw was modified, but I was too busy not trying not to die, so I couldn't record. Um, it was an STI, it was a yellow one. Black wheels. Look pretty nice, not gonna lie. But um, yeah. I didn't bring uh, gel. I think I had some, but just want to have for it with everything. And I'm doing my own laundry because otherwise I'll stay uh, very dirty. Believe it or not, right now it's about 8 p.m. here. Wouldn't even think that, huh? So we made it somewhat in the outskirts of town. Um, I would say it's still a very touristy location to go to. I forgot the name. There's uh, uh, something palace. Um, yeah. So the, the tickets for the train there are about six euros. Apparently we bought the wrong ones. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to buy the right ones. They didn't let you change directions. But anyways, we bought the wrong ticket. That got us here. So we, we took the subway and then we hop on the train. Apparently we bought the wrong train tickets because somehow we bought from there to here. And so when we're trying to exit the train station, yeah, the, I don't know what you call them, the attendees there. They're like, oh, uh, you have to pay a fine because you bought the wrong ticket. So I was like, what? How much is the fine? <laughs> it's like 35 euros per ticket. It's like, fuck. So yeah. Um, so that's 35, 35, that's 70 euros, just to give you an idea. Or meal yesterday, which was a lot of food, it was like 40. Um, so yeah, these guys freaking just, yeah. So, and this, we were coming here from uh, a French recommendation. So it's not even like we thought of but whatever we're still very sour that I had to pay the fine but 
I mean, it's pretty. Went inside the palace and I don't know. I tell my wife, I'm just staring at old rich people and how they used to live. Like, that's their bed, okay. I don't know what's so special about it, but again, that's just me being bitter. Um, I do think though that if there was like percentage or like if ratio ratio to like how much money was worth i mean i guess this was somebody's some king's house right or many families there's two big lakes and then there's this long 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 lake but i'm thinking that they have way more money than celebrities nowadays and i'm assuming inflation and all that good stuff right so i don't know um this is someone's backyard i guess and i'm enjoying the biggest cup of coffee known to man look <laughs> at my hand so enjoy you break it <laughs> <laughs> you break it you pay for it <laughs> <laughs> good luck paying me your zero dollar <laughs> Church of Notre Dame, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, burned down some parts of it. And they're building it. I remember waking up and seeing this in the news. I was burning down. I'm glad I didn't. Now locals went to our local grocery shop place got some sushi and some pokey uh, mainly because last time when we went out to get like food there was nothing and now there's all these places like every turn let's go this way every turn that we take there's like a new cafe and just i kid you guys not last night we look 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 nothing was popping up on google it happens like that so yeah i think that's one downside to uh this part of town that nothing pops up um, and it's really it's not as updated I think after COVID a lot of businesses shut down they just didn't reopen because the ones that we were looking at were closed but I don't know I've always enjoyed looking at the graph from other places that I go I was never good but I can get around <laughs> 